Carrie Strug's final vault in the 1996 Summer Olympic Games is arguably one of the most memorable moments in Summer Olympic history. And since she's retired from just gymnastics, Carrie knows exactly what all of the Olympians are going through this year. And she joins us now to tell us a little bit about that experience. Welcome, Carrie. Hi, Megan. All right, Carrie, let's talk about that vault. What was going through your head during that time? Going into our final rotation at the 96 Games, the U.S. Women's Team Final Competition, um, we were very excited. We knew that we were in contention for a gold medal. The Russians were on the floor exercise. And my teammate, Much Dominique Muchanu, fell on both of her vaults. So I was the last one to go up. And, you know, I was very confident in myself and my vaulting ability. I had been competing the vault successfully all year long. But I was a little nervous. And when I fell and injured my ankle on that first vault, I, I was just, oh my goodness, I could not believe it. Words can't describe what I right. felt. And I walked back. I thought the, the pain in my ankle would subside. Um, it really wasn't, so I decided to just focus on the task at hand. I looked at my coach, Bella Caroli, from some encouraging words. And all those years of training and hard work and doing the vaults when I wasn't feeling so well or was a little tired um, obviously paid off. So uh, a lot of excitement and just pure joy of self-satisfaction that a dream was realized when we were standing on top of that medals platform with um, gold medals around our neck. So latest news on the Olympic trials. What athletes should we be looking out for? Well. Regarding the U.S. women's gymnastics team, the athletes are all very strong. We have a lot of depth on that five-member uh, five team. Uh, Jordan Weber is the reigning world all-around champion, and Gabby Douglas just won the trials. So those two are going to go head-to-head, -head, but everybody has a shot at winning an individual event final. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. These girls are mentally tough. They're physically fit. They need to just make sure that in these last few weeks they hone in on those skills, they practice those routines just like they have been all these years leading up to the games, that they eat healthfully, and that they get adequate rest. And that's actually why I'm here today because I've teamed up with Sleep Number, and I'm talking about the importance of sleep in order to you know, reach your goals and have a peak performance. A lot of people realize that eating healthfully and practicing, you know, uh, doing those exercises of, is of utmost importance, but oftentimes they forget about one of the most critical components to being a champion, and that's getting adequate rest, making sure that your muscles get re-energized and rejuvenated so that you can go into those trainings day in and day out at your very, very best. All right, well, Carrie, it's really cool to get to talk to you. You are one of my heroes. Thank you so much. Where can we get some more information? Well, if you want to get more information on getting adequate rest, proper sleep, go to sleepnumber.com. And if you want to learn more about the Olympians, um, you can check out the various national governing bodies' websites or just Google the athlete. All right, thanks, Carrie. Well, thank you so much, Megan. Take